Hey y'all, this is Lauren from Summer Moon Garden and me and my husband are out here today getting ready to plant a few things out in the garden. So we thought we'd show you what we have going on here. Um, we got this really awesome new Gorilla Cart. It's huge. We got it at Tractor Supply and I thought I would go ahead and put plants in it that I have that we're going to use another exciting new tool that we got. This is called a power planter and you can get it from powerplanter.com and it really does make planting a whole lot easier and my husband will be happy to show you how it works later on in the video. So here's one big shrub that we're gonna plant today. See, honey, it's already nice that we're filling this thing up fast. <laughs> this is called Invincible Spirit. It's a hydrangea. And it stays pink. So it's from the variety called Arborescence. Um, so it's a little bit different form than Macrophylla. But it's going to be just as beautiful and easy to take care of. So I'm excited about that. So let's go in the backyard and I'll show you where we're planting. So this is gonna have to go around and down. Okay. Right, because. If you're wanting to go down. Well, I think this is too big to go behind the pool. The smaller one will fit, <clears throat> but not this monster. Princess is like, what the heck is that? Why don't you pick up the auger and put it in there? That's a good idea. I'll put a shovel over there to grab. Actually, I need some. Oh, Lauren, too. Lauren, Lauren. What? You know, you are right here. I'm recording. You don't have to <laughs> record all of this. There you go, turn the wheels. Wow, it's heavy. Before we head back, I wanted to show you our latest project that we completed. It was a little bit after Christmas that we finished this. Um, this bird feeder was a gift for Christmas to me. Oh, she's so cute. Um, it was originally a wood color, and so I painted it the same color of the trim as our house, so it would match. And I really like it white. I think it looks a whole lot better um, and it's gonna last longer too it'll protect the wood from any rotting so it's really nice to have a birdhouse not birdhouse but a bird feeder right here because we can sit on the front porch and watch the birds uh, fly to and from it so it's really really nice and obviously princess really likes it too she likes to watch the birds as well so I just wanted to show you all that real quick all right is it nice and easy to assemble going at all right so the first one we can plant is this the hydrangea right here so holes. I think you're gonna probably have to do maybe three big holes Yeah, 
how this puppy works, right? Makes it nice and easy. Except when there's rocks on there. Well, it's helping get up some of the rocks, so that's good. It's hitting a lot of rocks. And sometimes it comes off. <laughs> hey, it's still easier than digging, than digging a big hole. Especially when we have a back this is loaded with rocks. Entry roots. Yeah. <laughs> does a really good job of loosening up everything. So it you does. Flat out, just scoop it out. That's what I like about it the most because it turns the clay soil into like nice fine, a nice fine texture. Oh. There it goes again. <laughs> Scoop some of that out, and you probably have a nice hole. Yeah. We have really hard clay soil, and look what the power planter does. It makes it all nice and fluffy, so it's a lot easier to dig holes. I love it. Ooh, I should probably go get some holly tone. I forgot yeah, about probably. that. Gotta get some holly tone in there. Since you have the gloves on, do you want to put it in? Sure. <laughs> okay. Now this shrub I got at, <clears throat> where did I get this? I can't think right now. There's a lot of, There's a lot of extra dirt at the bottom, huh? Yeah. Well, don't put it in yet. Let's let's see if it is level. Yeah, because let's see how it's level. You can just pour it around it. Yeah, you pack it in. Goodness, why can't I think of the farm I got this? Scott Scottsdale. Thank you. Gosh, I can't think of it. Scottsdale Farms in Alpharetta. They were having their Daisy Dollars sale um, earlier this month. And so I had some Daisy Dollars and I went and got this pretty thing. So I think it's gonna do very nicely here. I'm sure Diane appreciates that. That's in her leaf pile. <laughs> yeah, all right. She doesn't care. It's in her leaf pile. No. Woman <laughs> doesn't care. There we go. Take it in nice and good. Once you water it in, you get golden. 
All right. Spread this dirt out a little bit. I mean, we're gonna be putting fresh stuff down here anyways, right? Eventually. Hey, you know what? I've got all those hostas that need to be planted too. Should we just go ahead and plant those too? I don't think we have time today, but we can do another day. Maybe that'll be another video. <laughs> yeah. Some good dirt turned up. It is good, isn't it? Right. Okay, so we only have time to plant two more plants because I've got to go drop my niece off at um, with my dad because our, our niece spent the night with with us tonight and she's hanging out with our kids so and she's about to turn 13 yay isn't that exciting so okay we're gonna finish this up and we'll have to do that hosta video another time all right this shrub is called pink symphony snowberry i've seen uh this plant in laura's garden if y'all watch garden answer you know what i'm talking about um, and ever since I saw it, I've like, oh, I need that. I've got to have that in my garden too. So I found it today at Pike's Nursery and I was like, oh, I have to have this. So we're just going to plant it right here. <laughs> I almost tripped over the holly tone. That would have been disastrous. <laughs> All right, take it away, Scott. We have a lot of roots and a lot of rocks back here. Oh, that's a big root. Yeah. Ooh, that went right through it. Big rock down there. Probably at some point gonna need to get a bigger handle. Yeah. This big auger does better with the bitter, bigger handle. Ooh, careful. Yeah, you just gotta pull up. That probably's got a good little hole in there now. Oh yeah, that looks good. That one, because that's should, the gallon size, you should be able right to in. pop it right in. It's just a matter of direction that you want. Look at that. Nice. Okay, just turn it around this way. Keep going a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Right yeah, I think that's great. What? Poly tone here, right? Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Get a couple handfuls here. That would be perfect. Right through that yeah, it's awesome. That would have caused me a lot of issues trying to dig this hole. Oh, that saves you like <laughs> tons of time. What do you think? That's about good? Yeah, that's good. That Perfect. See, this is why I wanted to get the gallon size auger. Perfect. That is awesome. So easy. Make sure it's in good. See, doesn't this make you happier to help me out in the garden? It always makes me happy to help you out in the garden. Oh, what a sweet little lie. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, babe. All right, one more. We've got over here a red twig dogwood. Actually, it's a variegated red twig dogwood. I thought this would be really pretty here. It gets really, really big. Eight feet tall by six feet wide. There's plenty of space for it right here. So take it away, baby. Prong this one might need a couple of yeah, drills. Yeah, big tree, old tree right there. So this well, well, it should power through the roots, hopefully. Hopefully I don't break my wrist on this one. Please don't break your wrist. I'm standing up on a rock here. Oh, there's some good rocks 
down here. Yeah. This one might be a little more challenging in this location. Oh, we see a big root. Yeah, it's a big one. This is when we live right next to a, a quarry. Kind of land that you go. Right? Yeah, we live right next to a quarry, and so there's lots and lots of rocks in our ground here. I mean, this is like rock central up in this. Don't twist your arm. <clears throat> there you go. You hit the, the lower level of soil. I can see the difference. Still like, like a big old root running right through here that I keep kicking into. Okay. So many rocks. It's just hard with all these rocks. good I think just got to clear some of the dirt out that at? oh it's back over there I'll get it or you can get it Looks like you leave the shovel over there for the dig over there you can see the daffodils are starting to peek through which is exciting all in here I've got hostas sleeping Slowly but surely, adding more and more plants. Just like pile after pile of rock. Mm hmm. A little bit more. Um, I don't take, the dirt out. take it out of the pot first and just see how deep the roots go because it might be like the hydrangea. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that one's yeah, that took up the whole container. Still that's there. Uh, yeah, because by the time you, it's the back side. Not quite there. Maybe just a little bit deeper. I know you don't want to hear that, but. Honestly. Oh, careful, hun. 
I mean, that thing goes so deep very easily. It's I think you got through the first layer of rock. You're good to go now. <laughs> yeah. Just scoop this dirt out. I think it'll work. Yeah, I think that's better. <coughs> that's great. Is that the right direction? Um, I think that works. Okay. Just need to correct it just a tad bit, obviously. You need a what? It was just a little crooked, but you know that. Let me get in here for a second. Yep, we're good. I just love how fluffy this soil is. It's awesome. It really turns up that Georgia clay. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And we'll mulch over this stuff later, right? Yeah. And it's not so darn cold. <laughs> okay, everyone, that's it for today. Princess has been following me around, having fun with me <laughs> or with us. Um, oh, there you go, Kitty. Is that better? Um, thanks for watching, y'all. I'm going to be doing another video soon. Um, depending on weather, of course, which if we have another sunny day like this, Scott and I will probably plant the hostas out there. So I hope that watching us use the power planter was helpful so you can see what, it, uh, how it works in very rocky clay soil and rooty, like a lot of roots too, lots of tree roots. Um, so it works pretty well. I mean, some spots were a little bit tougher, obviously you saw. Scott struggled a little bit with some spots, but all in all, I mean, in my opinion, it's better than digging a hole. So you just gotta be careful not to twist your arms with it, right? I think we probably should get maybe a bigger drill um, that won't allow it to kick back like that. So, but for the time being, it works. And the new uh, Gorilla Cart is awesome. Loving that. It makes it a lot easier to carry tools around and things like that. So. We're enjoying that as well. And um, like I said, I gotta go get the kids and go meet my dad to exchange my niece out. <laughs> so get her back home to her her mom. So, um, so yeah, thanks for hanging out with us today. And I hope you all have a great afternoon. I'll see you later, bye.